Welcome to the semester two, 2024 UQ Math 2504, a course called for short, Programming for Mathematicians. My name is Yoni Nazarathi. I'm the course coordinator. The course is taught uh, primarily by Dr. Paul Billet and Dr. Claire Foster, uh, also co-taught by me and by Dr. Paul Verbeek. Uh, Paul Billet and Claire Foster, they are both industry professionals. Uh, I myself also spend uh, a good part of my time in industry. So in this course, we, in addition to teaching you uh, what you're going to learn, we also want to kind of uh, expose you a bit more to the industrial world. Um, on that note, there will also be two uh, seminar speakers, perspective seminars, uh, Megan Dawson and uh, Metha uh, Meta, uh, Matili is uh, short uh, Metha, you can call her, and they give uh, perspective seminars where you hopefully come out of this course also understanding uh, a bit more about what to expect in the industrial world. So what is this course about? Well, this course is a programming course in the context of mathematics. So we do it in the context of simulation and some numerical mathematics and some analysis. So some symbolic computation and also some learning or actually just some data processing. I should say that this year, in terms of the units of the course, we took out a unit that was at the end in the previous years, which was machine learning. So there's no longer machine learning per se and introduced a new unit, which we call the Hello World Bootcamp. And that unit is really kind of a bootcamp for programming, especially aimed at those that have never or have hardly programmed before in any form or shape, okay? So everybody's done some sort of some some something, but uh, for those that really feel kind of that they need that background, we have that first unit, which is a bootcamp. So keep in mind that if you look at previous year's courses, the unit numberings have changed because we're still using numbering one through eight. <clears throat> so in terms of assessment for this course, this course is heavy on assessment. It's a bit less heavy on risk because there's only one quiz where you are supposed to answer questions in a sh rather short time frame and, uh, and get them correct to get the full marks. Uh, the other assessments are all homework project based. Um, however, I should say that students have found that these assessments are difficult. Um, so allocate a lot of time for them. Um, there's really no way around it. You're going to uh, improve your programming ability. And to do that, you need to work. Okay, so the big homework is big. Uh, you'll see it, it's big, and each of the projects is big. The big homework is in pairs, and the second project is in pairs. The other bits of assessment are individual. Uh, in terms of course activities, so we've got a three hour, three hours of lecture. We really try to use the full two hours, so 5 p.m. till 7 p.m. with a 10 minute break in the middle, but not ending at uh, 6.50, et cetera. So that's on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, these hours also suit our industry lectures, and uh, I hope that works for you uh, as well. I know it's a bit late. Um, we are also going to try, as we've done in previous years, to stream live on Zoom. Uh, so if you, for some reason, can't come, well, many reasons you can't come, but if you can't come to campus, you could watch it on Zoom. Still, nothing replaces the class experience. Then you've got the standard practicals. Each student should go to one of these. Uh, you're allocated to them, but feel free to move between them based on your timing. Uh, I don't think there'll be room issues, so standard practicals. In previous years, they were on a one-hour slot. Now they're on a two-hour slot, so 50 minutes, 10-minute break, and another 50 minutes. Okay, so that's your standard practicals. And then students that really want a bit more support, you can go to the support practicals. So go to as few, i.e. zero, or as many of these as you would like, and go to the support practicals. So basically you can use this practical time, especially the support practical, to work on your assessment, namely the big homework and the projects. Okay, that's kind of one way to do it. And then you've got our expert tutors there uh, helping you in the support practicals. Um, the schedule is here. Semester obviously has 13 weeks. And we have here per each hour, so the first hour of Monday, the second hour of Monday, and a single hour on Tuesday, what's happening. Uh, most weeks, including the first week, have a standard practical and support practicals. The weeks prior to homework submission or project submission, which is always on a Friday, except for this one, which is a, a Thursday, the November 14th is a Thursday, I believe. Okay, so these ones, 
this is during exam period. So these do not have uh, practicals. So, and that's aimed so that you finalize your homework or your project before submission and, you know, not to pick on the tutor for the last second, hey, help me with this and help me with that, et cetera. You would have had enough time uh, to do the homework and the projects, but again, that's a lot of work. Um, the consultation hours run weekly at this time. Feel free to join them as well if you need that extra support. Uh, so this is the content of the standard practicals and support practicals, etc. cetera. Um, now, in terms of tooling for this course, please use your own machine. If you do not have access to a machine, a laptop, or not a suitable laptop, please contact me, the course coordinator. We'll see what we can do in terms of uh, loaning a machine from UQ or some other means. Uh, and please try to install and try and succeed and install Julia version 1.10.2 right now at the time of this recording point 1.10.4 is the latest but just the latest julia do that as described in this video and please also watch this video for it okay so there's quite a lot of content uh, there and try to get julia up and running and do a one plus one in julia and get the answer of two all right, you've got additional resources here, and there's plenty of other resources on the web. One resource that's not mentioned is uh, Anthropics Sonnet 3.5 or GPT 4.0 or any other large language model. Uh, there's no way around it. The developers of 2024 and onwards, the software developers, use large language models, i.e. ChatGPT, et cetera, to help them do things. Um, if you need to do that, just do that. Uh, it's important that you come out of this course uh, literate in programming uh, and in the surrounding tools and ecosystems, uh, because that has not vanished from the world, uh, not today and probably not tomorrow, not in the next couple of years, that's for sure. So we hope that you'll find this very useful, both for your professional career and or for your research career, should you embark on one. Uh, looking forward to get to know some of you via the course. And I think I will leave it at that. Bye, everybody.